Should I do a master's program in Canada? And if yes, then which master program? Or should I try a diploma program from colleges? Let's name three most common master's program that dentists think they are going to do. Do you know what is the difference between an educational program being offered from a university compared to one being offered from a college? So all this exciting information for you right in this video after this intro. Welcome back, this is Sam from Teacher Dauntist and I will start with the five parts that I just mentioned but before that you make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, share with a friend who is in the same path as you and you can follow me on Instagram for some fun reels and updates. Should I do a master's program in Canada and if yes then which master program or should I try a diploma program from colleges? First of all, why would you ask this question out on internet? This is such a personal question. Do you think you are going to be a master in something? Let's name three most common master's program that dentists think they are going to do. Number one, master's in health administration. Number two, master's in public health. Number three, master's in biomedical engineering or oral microbiology or something like that. It was one of these three, right? Yes. Now let's ask ourselves this question. What does master mean? Master means that you already know a skill so well, you are already so much in depth into it, that now you want to pursue a mastery in a specific domain of that skill. Okay, so do you know what is the difference between an educational program being offered from a university compared to one being offered from a college? This might have been completely different in your home country. When I was in India, this was a completely different concept. A university provides you a very high quality education focused towards academia, focused towards research and professional programs. While a college provides you education which is more focused on training you on a particular skill set or career in trades, technology or arts. In general language, I would say a university makes you more smart while a college makes you more job ready. As an immigrant, what was the question that you were asking yourself? Which of these courses is going to make me the most job ready candidate? Should you take university or a college if you are thinking of getting job ready right away after you graduate? The answer to that question in short is a college. A college will make you more career ready, give you a more focused education and training which is relevant to the skill set needed in certain entry level jobs in that province or in that area. On the other hand, if you ask yourself a question, what kind of training or education should I take if I want to excel in my current career? If I want to learn more about the path that I have chosen already. Say I am a teacher, I have some background in education but now I want to dive deeper. I want to learn all the andragogies and pedagogies involved in education. I want to be an excellent teacher, what should I take? Answer is, I can take university education now. So ask yourself before jumping on this decision. Why do you want to do a master's program? In what discipline are you really interested to pursue a master? Because it's not just two years of your life. You are putting an exhaustive amount of effort to write a thesis or write a project. Maybe your next 20 years of life will receive a direction from this one program. Master's program don't make you job ready. Master's program make you master in a certain skill set. For example, public health. I am a dentist from India. If I say I want to do master's in public health, as, as a dentist, I might have like 5% of education in dental public health, which I never use in my practical dentistry. Now all of a sudden, I want to become a master in general public health, not even dentistry, general public health. To jump from this domain to that domain, I, the only driving force that should be there is a lot of interest in that prospect. But if I'm not interested in public health and I'm just thinking this might give me great jobs, that would be an absolute incorrect way of looking into something. If you really think you want to do masters in public health, masters in health administration, or masters in biomedical engineering or some other or some other biomaterial stuff, then you don't need this video. Then you don't need anyone to tell you what to choose and what not to choose. You are looking for answer to this question because you did not know the difference between these three. All you were asking is which of these careers will give me a better job. 
The answer according to me would be a community college. Community college provides you the required skill sets which are really framed around the job market. I was studying master's in education at Mount St. Vincent University while I was also studying diploma in adult education at Nova Scotia Community College. Guess which of these two programs gave me the exact skill set I needed to do my job? It was from the community college. But guess the, which program is required if I want to move up in my positions? That would be the Masters of Education program. More information on these different Masters program would be in the subsequent videos. But right now, my summary is if you want to be job ready, community college is your choice. If you want to really follow some research, passion or academia, university is your choice. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me in the comments which program excites you a lot. What else information would you need on these programs? And are you someone who is really ready to reset your life and start a new career path? I would like to know what else is the information that is missing out there so that I can fulfill the gaps. If this is the first video you are watching, then make sure you check out one of these two videos to learn more about different paths. Make sure you like this video, share with a friend who is in this immigration process, subscribe to my channel, press that bell icon so that you know when my next video is going to be released and leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. Bye.